Hey Clashes, sneak peek number two for the spring update in Clash of Clans. And since we have talked yesterday about the new clan castle level and all the features around that, we should take a look at the new defensive level today and all the troops and the siege machine, which are getting a new level on top of that. And well, the highlight is going to be the new pet, which is going to release as well in this next update. But let's start things off with the new defensive building level. The Builder Hut is getting a new level and the design, I have to say, I like it quite a bit. It looks really good um, for the Channel 16 style with the red and everything. Now overall, Builder Hut levels are kind of appreciated. The thing though is, with the next defense, that is the Eagle Artillery. It costs quite a bit, it's quite expensive, but the design... Am I the only one who feels more the Town of 14 vibes, like with the green and everything? I'm really looking forward to see your opinion in the chat, in the comments, because... Let's be honest, I, I don't know I'd really, if it really fits the Tunnel 16 style. The next defense, I kind of feel the same way about it. I love the design when it comes down to the defense individually, but is it really fitting that Tunnel 16 style? I'm looking forward to read your opinions in the comments. But those were the three defenses getting a new level. We should take a look at the troops which are getting a new level as well, which is for first the Yeti. And obviously this means the Yeti mice are getting a new level as well, and Yeti Blimps are going to become even stronger, which is quite nice. At the same time though, this buff is not the biggest one. You can see in the numbers, it's nice, but it's not the biggest game changer. Another troop which is getting a new level is the Ice Golem. And really important to note though, is that the Frost Effect increase is only working on offense, not on defense. So on defense, nothing is really changing because the Triple Ice Golem Clan Castle is already annoying. Another troop which is getting a new level is the Ice, uh, sorry, is the Electro Titan. Electro Titan is a nice addition to pretty much any army to deal with a defensive clan castle, and so it's nice to have a new level on that. The next siege machine, or with the siege machine overall, which is getting a new level, is the Flame Flinger. It's really nice, it has been the strongest siege machine for quite some time, but still, a new level is, as always, quite nice. But let's take a look at the new pet. The new pet is going to be unlocked on town level 16. And this pet is going to change the game. Quite literally, actually. The name of this new pet is the Angry Jelly. And what it does, it's pretty much sitting on top of your hero. And it's turning it into kind of like a royal champion. Because it only targets defenses. That's right, it's turning your hero into an only defensive targeting hero. It kind of changes the identity of your hero if you want to put it that way. A really important fact though is that this is only time based. Depending on how high leveled you have this pet, it's going to turn that hero for 20, 30 something seconds into a defense hitting monster. On top of that it can obviously damage itself, but if you want to get this pet upgraded as quickly as possible, you can see the stats and everything on your screen with like how much it will cost to get it to the level 10 to make sure that you have the longest possible time of turning your hero into, well, defense target mode only. If you want to make sure that you're boosting their progress a bit further, and if you want to buy any offers, for example, from the in-game shop and everything, make sure to support your favorite content creator out there. If you would like to support me, make sure to use code ITSU, I really appreciate that. But let's take a look at the different use cases for the Angry Jelly for every different hero, okay? And let's start things off with the Barbarian King. Is it a good pet to put onto your Barbarian King? Well, let's find out. Because we will compare side by side between the Angry Jelly and the Phoenix, which was so far the most used, I guess, the most used pet on the King. Which is interesting to compare, to be honest. Because I was expecting that the Phoenix would win by a long shot. But this did not really happen. So I would overall say that this hero die for the king is kind of situational. It depends on how close and compact everything is. And at the same time as well, how much defense there is around the compartment. How much investment you have to do to funnel, I guess. And many more aspects. But overall, it's quite a nice pet on the Barbarian King. Another hero which you can use it on is on the Archer Queen. It's a really nice thing to have it on the Archer Queen and something on the Archer Queen is really important or overall for this pet is really important and that is as long as the pet ability is active, which means it's turning your hero into only shooting defenses. This means that this pet at this time is not getting targeted by any defenses. That's right, you cannot take it down. The same as the Egg of the Phoenix. It's just there, 
well, it's shooting back on top, but it's just there and cannot get targeted. But as soon as that is running out this effect, it can get targeted and it kind of works like the Phoenix, where, well, it can get shot by air defenses as well. Another important thing is that with targeting defenses means as well like defensive heroes or for example the defensive clan castle that kind of, kind of counts into that category. As I said, it kind of works as the royal champion. She only targets defenses as well, but well, she targets the defensive clan castle or defensive heroes as well. So overall, for sure, with the queen, a really nice pet to use. Another thing is now with the Warden, but we have a couple of special cases. The range of the Angry Jelly is not as long as the Warden. And that is something really important, because otherwise this combination would be just too good. It would be just too strong. So you can see already, it's quite nice to dodge out of the storages and everything, and just go for defenses. Another important thing though is that the Angry Jelly is the most important thing to your hero. So for example with the Warden. If it sits on the head of your Warden, it is non-stop telling the Warden not to follow any other troop. Well, at least that's kind of how I envision it, but either way how it works, your hero, your Warden, is not going to follow any other heroes or any other troops as long as this defense attacking mode is active. That is really important to note if you're doing a ward walk, for example, and you want to lure the Warden back into your main army, this does not really work as long as the angry jelly effect is there. As soon as it runs out, as you can see here, the warden is normally following the banking uh, again, and this means that you have your warden back and you have the control back over your warden. But take a look at this. This warden now with the fireball can take down a ton of damage, or can take down a ton of buildings more like, with dealing a ton of damage. Because this now means that you can get quicker through the defenses the only downside is, as I said already, that the Angry Jelly is not attacking. But that's already fine, because take a look at this fireball dealing a lot of damage to this village, taking down the defenses, and well, the Warden is staying alive with dealing even more damage. And that is for sure an amazing combination. So you can tell already, this pet has more use cases as the Spirit Fox, for example, but it's really situational. But either way, we want to test it as well with the Royal Champion, because Let's face it, this combination should be not as good, because it kind of does what the Royal Champion does anyways, right? It targets defenses, so this is kind of like nonsense. Something which I would like a lot, if this may be getting added into the future, is do you know this thing, minus and minus is plus? What about the Royal Champion? Targeting defenses and another pet on top of that with targeting defenses turns your, uh, turns your royal champion into targeting anything, that would be really cool. Sadly, as you can tell already, it is not working that way. And this means I would not recommend this combination on your royal champion. Use the other three heroes, you get more out of that. But let's take a look at my favorite combinations. The first thing is obviously going to be a queen charge. It makes a queen charge unique let's put it that way you can get a lot out of this but you have to be really careful especially with the charging the town hall because i have had the situation a lot where i was charging the town hall my queen was keep diving forward and the town hall never activated and when the town activated my queen was on top of the town hall with the healers and everything and it was just a huge mess so you have to bring something to activate that town hall and turn it into a defense so your queen is not skipping that thing that is a really important thing to note or you just have to charge on the other side of the town hall, but that makes you less flexible. So this is for sure something you have to like consider when playing this pet with the queen charge together, okay? Super important to note. The follow-up could be pretty much anything, right? It could be root riders, it could be hybrid, whatever. You can do whatever. It's more important about the queen charge, which I'm trying to showcase, which is going to be quite unique. Another really good use case I could see for sure, especially pros do, is in hero dives, either on the queen or on the barbarian king. I might think that it's going to be used more on the, well, where is it going to be used more? Let me know that in the comments because I would love to know what you think if pros use it more on the king or on the queen. For queen charges, it's for sure really nice on the queen, especially because it's staying alive for the first 30 seconds and it doesn't matter what is about to happen. While on the other side, the unicorn, which was the classic combination for your queen, well, the unicorn did go down quite quick because there is the merged ricochet cannon, we have the multi archer towers, we have multi inferno towers, we have the town hall, we have scatter shots, we have we, ha we have so many defenses which do splash damage at this point that the unicorn is a lot of times not really, well, staying alive for a long time. 
And this pet is going to at least stay alive for those 30 plus seconds, which is really important. And this means you get the value out of this pet and it doesn't matter what is about to happen, you get the value for those 35 seconds. And this is why I think it could actually replace the unicorn on the queen for a lot of strategies, just making sure that you get that value. But obviously with making this attack kind of close, I really want to highlight the eagle artillery because I think if this thing is going to be raged up, a lot of defenses and attacks are going to struggle. I mean, if the eagle artillery is going to be raged up, even Groot Riders will notice that, especially with a new level. I think it's going to be quite interesting on how much impact it's going to have in the end. But you have clearly seen already with this um, with this attack, Hybrid did go down quite quick. You have to you have to put it that way. They did go down quite quick with one just eagle self and. They were just gone. We tripled anyways because I think the pet combination was quite nice. But I think as well we should move on to the next strategy. Which is going to be the use case of the warden with the angry jelly. And this is something I think is going to be quite nice in combination. Especially with the super witches again. Yes I know it's a lot of buffs indirect or direct to the super witches recently. But the reason why I think it's really good is because... This corner of the base, you could have taken that out with a Warden Walk into Fireball combination, everything. Kind of classic, right? Like, you could do that anyways. But with having now this new pet on the Warden, this makes sure that this takes way less time. So this means, instead of having to deal with the Workshop, with the Elixir Collector, another Elixir Collector, gold mine, and so on, we just had to take down three buildings and then could already fire the Fire Shot, which is a huge improvement when it comes down to time. The only important thing is right now is that you have to be careful with luring your warden back over to the queen to the super witches because if this angry jelly is telling your warden to not follow to the queen, he won't do so. So you have to make sure that the effect is running out to then follow over to the super witches. And then you could just do whatever you want. Put the super witches in, enjoy the attack, enjoy your life because you are looking good. So this combination for sure is another good use case. And I think overall this patch is quite different, I think, compared to the Spirit Fox. I think it, the Spirit Fox, it's just like, okay, you put it on the Royal Champ, the, it's the perfect fit. It's kind of like they were made for each other, okay? And you kind of forget about it. Just don't switch it, keep it as it is, it will work, and you will get a lot of value. This pet on the other side is completely different. I think it's situational. I think you can use it on multiple heroes. And I think overall it has a lot of potential. So I think it's going to be really interesting to see what you are coming up with. It's going to be amazing. I'm really looking forward to the comments and see what you guys are typing with like, okay, try this, try this. I want to try that. And really looking forward to what you can come up with because I think this pet has a lot of potential in coming up with new strategies. But those two approaches with the queen charge and with the Warden Walk are my personal favorites because I think they're quite strong, they're quite unique and really nice to use and, and fun to use especially, which is always important. And well, that's pretty much it for this sneak peek. This was the last sneak peek for this update, which means it's not the biggest update, but that is overall a quite nice, it's quite nice thing as well, right? Like, so this means even someone who's ready to play, you're not falling behind anywhere with someone who's trying to invest money. And, well, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know how you would use the Angry Jelly. Now I wish you guys back tomorrow with the next video. Until then, see ya and bye-bye.